All right. Hello, everyone. I'm going to show you how easy it is to get a website up and running with Weebly. I'm going to walk you through the steps. This is probably the screen that you're going to come to first. And as you can see, it's real simple. Just give your name, email, password, and then hit sign up. And it is free to get started. Now, why would you want to get going with Weebly? Well, in my opinion, Weebly is the best website creator out there. Um, and I say that because it's easy to use, which means it's always going to be easy to update. And it's an online program you can update from anywhere. And those are some of my uh, my favorite things. It's got a ton of features. And um, for me, it, it's the best website designer I've ever used. Weebly uh, Powerful Site Creator. As you can see, a little demonstration here, it is drag and drop easy. You uh, grab your element, you place it where you want to, and then you can start editing it how it works. Getting your website going, planning it out, uh, Weebly will help you do all of this. Help you plan it out, help you create it, and give you little prompts along the way. Um, videos like this, there's a ton of them out there. You can uh, watch video tutorials. Publishing your website is just done by the click of a button. And um, then as your website grows, you can track the success of your site and visitors and whatnot from the stats that come along. I believe it's with a pro account. And so uh, I've, I've had a pro account almost from the very beginning, and I have never regretted it. Um, very affordable, and all of the features, you get all of them. It's a great way to go. Speaking of pro and pricing, let's take a look at that. You can have a completely free, 100% free web website if you want. And it'll be, as you can see down here, your website name .weebly.com. So it will, I guess it'll be kind of a subdomain of Weebly. But anyway, totally free if you want. Um, then I guess there's a starter plan that's relatively new. And then if you go pro, uh, like I have, um, you can have access to all the features you could want. It's a great way to go. It really is. And I've never regretted it. So after you sign up, then you'll be taken to a page where you can get things going. Uh, your interface may look a little bit differently, but anyway, you click on add a site. And then from there, the first thing you're going to do is select a theme. Let's scroll on down. We take a look at all the different themes that are out there, tons to choose from, and they look great just as they are. Uh, you can also, um, you, you can do a lot of customizing. If you know anything about HTML, you can get in there and change the HTML code and uh, make it, truly make it your own. It'll be a great situation. Here's a nice little simple theme. Let's choose that. And that'll load up for you. Now you get the get the option if you want to use a subdomain of Weebly, and this is where the free part is in there. Let's just call this um, um, my practice web website. Oh, it's already taken two. Ah, okay, well that's available. Again, you can change this name anytime you want, but this is if you're going to go free or if you're going to practice around, which I recommend. Practice around, check out the program. If you're going to register a brand new domain, you can do that all through Weebly as well. If you already own the domain, you click this box and you can put in that and um, you'll get instructions on how to make sure that everything is pointed to Weebly. But just for practice, let's go ahead and use this. This is what the interface looks like and all of your elements are over here that you can use. For example, uh, your text. Let's, just, let's grab a title. This is, says a title, so we're going to drag it, we're going to drop it, let go. Click to edit. This is is where my title goes. And then just click away and it's there. If you want to add more text underneath that, grab the text box for like paragraphs in a second. We can just keep right on going. Keep right on going. Or you can also always uh, you can add, you can copy and paste from your word editing program and it goes right in there. Piece of cake. Let's show you how easy it is to add an image. Grab it, drag it down here. Okay, and if you see it says upload image. So click right there. Let's find a photo I can bring in. How about how about a house picture? Our Colorado house. Let's click on double click on that. And you see on here it's uploading. It's also checking for virus. And then poof. We've got a picture there. Da, da, da. We also have options to edit this picture. That's kind of big. It's taking up the whole thing. So let's say that if I grab this and resize it, and, it, and it's keeping aspect ratio, let go, 
click somewhere else looks great I can move the edge the uh, image over here and or that way or right in the center no problem now let me show you a neat another neat little trick let's say that I want to put some text off to the side well we've got a whole box here that's devoted to that photo so if I want text right next to it what I'm going to need to do is bring in, let's click on this little icon, and this are uh, columns. So I'm going to grab columns, and I'm going to go right up over there. I do this a lot. Then I'm going to grab the image, I'm going to drag it up to go on that side of the column. Automatically resizes. And then I'm going to, then I want text over here, right? So let's uh, go hit the text button. Let's grab our text. Slide that right over there. And we can just keep on typing. Yay, and go on and on and on. Um, all kinds of text. More text. And you can just go on and on. Now, the text fills, or the box will adjust to whatever text you have in there, but see, we still have some more space underneath here. So if we wanted to, we could add something else there. Just for the fun of it, let's put a little button right here button text. As a matter of fact, let's do this. Let's change the button text and say press me. Real simple. And then we'll click away and that press me and then you can set this up for whatever link you wherever you want it to go. It's a website or somewhere else. Let's say we don't want to go there. Spacing. Anyway, these things are highly customizable. Piece of cake. If we wanted to, oh, let's give our site title my cool practice website all of this stuff here is customizable you can add it or you know put the actual links up here tons of things we can do but just again to give you a give you a gist cuz you you can spend as long as you want getting your website going you can also edit this image and all kinds of things you can add pages let's say that we want to do that real quick i'm just i just want to give you a real quick overview pages Add a page, standard page. Now, you remember the picture? It's all set for this one here. Let's say we want a not so much, not so, a picture to be not so big. Save and edit. So we've got our home page, is what we we played around with. Now we have our page here. It's untitled at the moment. We can change. Let's go back up to pages. Here's our untitled untitled page. Let's give it a name. Other page. See? Really simple. Save and edit. Okay? Home and here's our other page. And we haven't we haven't put anything on it, but we sure can. We can add um, sometimes it might be good to start off with columns. Let's give this a three column setup. And then let's say that we want to put text in this one. Then we want to put an image in that in the center one. And then let's say we want more text over here. Okay, now, so I can get in here and I can edit my text, or I can jump in here and upload a photo, or I can edit my text. The sky's the limit. And so, anyway, that's how you get started. Now, just to show you that if, that if I just wanted something really simple to get up there really fast, I just hit Publish. I'm using this setup, so Continue. telling me that uh, hey that web, web domain is available com if I really wanted it but let's just go right to our practice website and <laughs> there it is friends it is live it is online right now and that's how you get started I we didn't set that up for a link yet so but anyway you can make this as simple or as elaborate as you want you really can here's our other page we didn't put anything in there yet we just put those placeholders in there we haven't actually added text or added photos or anything yet back to home piece of cake so I gotta tell you what if um, you know if you're if you're looking to get a website going that's easy to use really seriously consider Weebly because I think it's the best website creator out there thanks for watching